What's up everybody? Jason the Gravel Man here. Wanted to come and do a uh, video on how I load my mini skid steer, my beautiful SK752. Uh, got my beautiful wife behind the camera this morning. Thank you baby for videoing. Uh, it's Sunday, getting ready to get the week started and, and I work solo. So um, I'm getting ready to load my machine. I figured I'd make a little video. There's kind of some of these out there. I wanted to touch on some points that I, I don't think that some of the people have, have touched on. There are a bunch of great videos. Go out and check those out on how to load a mini on a dump trailer or a trailer. Um, first, I want to say that safety, safety, safety. Always be careful. These things are very unpredictable. Very, uh, quite a few variables. If, if it's kind of cold and the, the, you know, the fluid is not moving through the um, hydraulic pumps really good it reacts slow there's a lot of things like if you have something on your in the back of your truck and it's kind of slick you know coming down could be dangerous so be very careful never assume because you've done it a thousand times that you got it uh, I, I never assume that so having said that um, wanted to talk about it this machine here I've had it for a little while now you if you've seen some of my other videos you've seen that that my that I've had this and I, I love it and I talk about it a lot it's my my workhorse so I take very good care of it uh, and so when I'm loading it up I, I take it everywhere with me so I'm, I'm constantly loading this thing up so I have a, a procedure that I do um, if I can um, first off I got my I got everything lined up so you guys don't have to waste time watching me do it so I just line everything up I know that my tracks are gonna fit in between my ramps good uh, I'm parked in such a way that my truck is kind of pointed got the butt end pointed up to where it makes this end right here low as I can get it I know for a fact that this is not going to lift the back end of my truck if you have a very heavy machine you have to be very careful about that it can lift up the back of your truck I have on my um, my big Tex 14 LP here I have some stands that I don't have to use so if I right here on the edge uh, on this edge I can let those down it takes some of the weight so it doesn't push the back end up but I'm not going to use those this morning because it's not necessary I don't have to have them um, so we're going to get ready to load this thing up um, a couple of things I tried to load it up uh, forward even though I, I knew that that was not a good idea and it's not a good idea it will make you you know it's very unpredictable you can't stand on it it, it, it goes way too high like this so you're kind of holding on um yeah you want to make sure that you have as low a possible point right here it makes it a whole lot easier to load and the reason is because when you come up over here babe when you come up when you come up you want it to be as as kind of an easy of a transition and you'll see what i mean here in a second as possible um you know for me i, I i've done it a while so it, it's not as nerve-wracking but when i first started loading this thing up it was extremely nerve-wracking and i know i'm missing some points but i just wanted to, to talk about those few safety things you know again never feel like you've got it down like you don't have to be safe be safe uh number two you know you want to make sure that you're not going to be lifting up the back end of your truck you're going to make sure that you have enough weight here i mean enough to support you here uh, I've heard you can put in four-wheel drive that way even if the back end of the truck li lifts up that the front wheels will stay um, Thank you, Andrew Camerata uh, Cam Camara Cam Cam Camerata, excuse me if I mispronounce your name. You'll probably never see my videos. You're a millionaire uh, But anyway, um, I'm gonna load this thing up and uh, make this video a little short and um, The proper way to do it in my opinion. So anyway, we're gonna start it up
okay? So it's just that easy. And when you're bringing it up, if you have it kind of low to the ground, you're not gonna have such a terrible transition. I have a spreader gate here, so I have to be even extra careful because it'll pull that spreader gate out and, and warp it if you're not careful. Uh, anyway, thank you. This is how I load my SK752 on my Big Tex 14,000 uh, pound dump trailer. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank y'all very much.